Another useful playback tool and new in Grandma 3 version 2.2 are the timing masters. So imagine you have a sequence with different cues and you set different fade timings. But now for some cues you want to adjust the fade timing right away in a live situation for example. You can now use the timing masters. So what do we do? We assign a fader here in our playback window or directly at the console and we have a look at the masters tab. In the Masters tab you can find the new timing section here and if you unfold it you will now find 50 new different timing masters you can use for different purposes. So at the moment we want to use the timing master number one and we can see that the timing master is assigned directly to our fader here. What we need to do now is to define in the queues or in the queue fade timings that we want to use this specific timing master. So we go in here in our sequence for the first three cues, for example. We do a right click or a two finger click to edit the fields. And we see here on the right hand side the new master section and we can define the timing number one. Now the cues will follow and listening to the timing master here. So if we adjust the fade time directly in there, you can see that the duration changes according to the timing masters. Of course you can also set timing masters differently for a queue in and a queue out fade. So there are many different purposes where you can use these timing masters to adjust your queue timings right away.